everybody. Johnny here. I got a quick and simple draw along for you all. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw this baby unicorn here. Uh, so grab a paper, a pencil, and an eraser, and let's dive in. We're going to start off like we usually do, drawing our big shapes first. And I'm going to start with the head here. So I'm going to draw a circle for the head and I'm making it pretty big. So since it's a baby unicorn, the proportions are going to be a little bit different from uh, if we were drawing like an adult kind of unicorn. So next we're going to move down to the body. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw another big circle here for the chest and shoulder portion. Okay. And then for the back portion, I'm gonna draw another circle, but it's gonna be a little bit smaller. And these circles are overlapping just a little bit like this. See that part? Okay. You'll also notice the bottom of these circles pretty much line up. And then the top, there's this little angle slanting down. Okay. So head, body, we're gonna connect the body and the head with the neck here, just going down like this. And then the back of the neck is going to angle down to here. Now we just throw the legs and feet in, very simple. We're going to start with the front legs. And I'm going to follow this curve down to about here. And then I'm going to drop the leg. And we're making the legs a little bit thicker here where they attach to the body. Then as they go down to the feet or the hooves, they get really small like that. So we're making this uh, baby unicorn with very small petite legs. The, uh, again, the proportions are gonna be kind of interesting because some parts are gonna be short and small like these legs. And then we have big parts like the head. Okay, for the bottom of the feet, I'm not going straight across. I'm making a little bit of a curve. Okay. So this leg is overlapping this leg and we're not gonna be seeing very much of this back leg here. And then the legs on this side, we're going to this circle here. And again, slanting in like this to make the feet a little bit smaller. Curve here on the bottom. And then the leg just sits right behind. All right. So we got all our basic shapes in place. Time to start putting the details in. First, we're gonna add this nose here. So even though the head is really large, we're going to put the nose in and the nose itself is gonna be pretty small. I'm just gonna come out to about here with a curve. And then I'm gonna come back in down like that. We could go ahead and put a little smile in there. So this nose and snout and mouth, it's all going out past this original circle that we drew, see? And then I'm bringing the smile back, connecting to that circle. That the circle is pretty much our guideline. And then we just put in a bottom lip here. We're not gonna go all the way to the end of the snout. We're gonna come back in here just a little. And very simple bottom lip. 
Okay. Let's move up to the hair. We're gonna come up here and with the bangs, we're gonna make a little curve. Going this way. Okay, I'm still drawing lightly because once I get all the hair in place, I might still wanna make some adjustments. So make sure you keep drawing light, at least at this stage. The bangs and then the hair, we're gonna follow this circle here, but we're gonna go a little bit past that. That's gonna give the hair some volume. Yeah. The hair, if we keep it right in line with the circle, it, it, it'll look a little bit flat. Okay, so I'm gonna come around here. And this hair is gonna come all the way down the neck. Yeah. And here at the tip, we're gonna put a little curl and then bring it back. And then we're gonna come down here from the banks and just connect here. So I'll erase all these guidelines here that we don't need, just so you could have a clearer view. Like that. Okay, so far, so we're gonna put the ears in here. For the ear, we're just making, the top part is kind of like a triangle. Then this bottom part here is gonna not be straight, it's gonna be put a nice curve to it. And then here is where the ear is folding over. Okay. Right here, uh, in the middle of her bangs, we're gonna do a horn. But we're making the horn really short. Because she's still a baby. The horn hasn't grown out yet. Well, well. Horn shape. I'm not making my horn very pointy. I'm curving it here at the tip. And then that classic spiral pattern that goes around the, the horn on a unicorn. We're just gonna put these lines here. Bring down the face, working that up. And then the other side of the bangs we're going to draw, peeking out from the side of her head. I'm going to go ahead and darken this up. And the hair, I think it looks okay. So I'm gonna darken it up. Actually, this one, I wanna bring the bangs down a little bit lower. Go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, before we move down, let's go ahead and do the eye. The eye is going to be pretty big. I think the bigger you make the eyes, the cuter it's going to look. So let's go really big with this one. I'm going to start with this side. We're going to slant down with a little bit of a curve. And then the bottom part, there's still gonna be a little bit of a slant to it, but not as much as this. So it's gonna look more like that. Uh, by slant, I mean, we're not drawing a line straight across. It's going down a little bit. So once you have these two edges in place, 
the front edge. It's just gonna connect them with a curve. Okay. Then we're gonna come here inside the eye. Draw a line here showing the iris. And then another line very close to that one. This is gonna be the pupil. The pupil is gonna be really big. And then we're gonna put a couple highlights. You know, look, the more highlights you put in, I put two in on this one, but the more you put in, uh, the more shiny the eye is gonna look. And you could even do highlights in different shapes too. So say, for example, I got an oval shape here. And then this one, I'm gonna play around a little bit with the shape. I'll do kind of like a star shape. And you could do highlights and stars. You could do heart shaped highlights, square, circle, triangles, whatever. Just play around and see what you like. And then when you color in or shade in this pupil here, try not to get any inside of these highlights so they stay nice and white. Not gonna make this too dark. Okay, there we go. Let's darken up these edges. And if you want to color in the iris with a really light shade, you could do that. This one I left it white. But I'm gonna put a light shade in here. Well, just so the iris doesn't look like it's the same color as the white of the eye. Okay. I'm going to darken this up all the way down to the leg here. And the rest of the body and the drawing is more or less just darkening up these um, shapes that we made in the beginning. So as you can see with certain drawings, when you uh, when you make these guidelines for yourself, you do more than half the work with just these guidelines. And of course, with other drawings, that are a little bit more complicated. You add a lot more details on top of these guidelines, but they still serve the purpose. Of showing you the entire figure of your drawing before you start adding in the details. Okay. So let's get the backside first. I'm just gonna come here and outline this outer part of that small circle that we drew. And then the hooves here, we're just gonna put a little curve, darken this up a little bit. Okay, same here. And the last piece is gonna be the tail. Very short, fluffy tail. We're gonna curve here first, like so. And then at the end, we're gonna curl the other way. And then take the point here and just go right back in. So we have all our details and shapes in place. Before we call it done, I'm gonna go over it one last time and make sure 
there's nothing I left out. Of course, if I spot any mistakes, I'm going to go ahead and correct those. Okay. Here, I feel like the horn could be darker. And there you go, there's your baby unicorn. Uh, we would love to see your guys' drawings. So if you look in the description below, you could find our email and you could send us pictures of your drawings. So thank you guys and we'll catch you next time. Bye.